And that's where I get the embed code, as you know, mm -hmm. to get the... We really haven't used the YouTube. I mean, it's... Uh, okay, now what I'm doing... Oh, maybe I'll Maybe I'll show you. Let me show you, dog. So, where is it here? No, that's no, that's not it. No, 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 I'm getting confused here. No, I'm not getting that. Well, gone dog, I'm getting confused. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I'm going to get the embed code. Sometimes I forget to do this, but you can't do that. I got to put it on neurosurgical TV. I go to the page, it's already sitting there. I just put the embed code. You know where to put that and everything, right? Yeah. Yeah, in the web page. Okay, now we're rolling on YouTube. And it's also on the front page of the app. I don't know if you see, go to the app dog and see if it's, you see, hopefully it's on the front page. Okay. Okay, we're now, now live on YouTube. Okay, we're set. Yeah, it's there. Oh, good, good. So it's easy for you to, but I've got to hook it up. So like you see how when you press the page, mm -hmm. um, it goes. You mean this picture, right? It's on the front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, that's, that makes it easy to get the, uh, the live webcast. But you know, if, you, if you click the icon, because I want to put the, hey, how you doing, Raja? Yeah, hi, hi, John. How are you? I'd like you to meet Simon Downs, my partner in Hello. neurosurgical, Hi, nice to meet you. neurosurgical Hi. TV. Hi, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Simon. We have a speaker, Professor Takamichi. I'm oh, thank you. you. I'm always in the background. Hello. Welcome, Prof. Thank you. Hey, hello, Dr. Uh, Yamamoto. Hi. Hey. Hello. Hello. I'm Dr. John Bennett, uh, the owner of Neurosurgical TV. And you know mm -hmm. Raja, right? He's a moderator. You Raja? No, yeah. Yeah, Raja. We, we checked, yeah. We checked the presentation yesterday. Oh, okay. And this is Simon Downs, the associate producer. Oh, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. We're, get, we're getting bigger. We're getting producers now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was a good uh, thing, collage you made, uh, Raja. I, yeah. I didn't, yeah. Know, didn't know you had the talent there. That, that, what kind of program you will use a special program for that? No, it's just iMovies on MacBook. Yeah, one of the things you run across. Uh, yeah, you run into some neat programs that make stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, uh, uh, Doctor Yama, Yamamoto. I guess he knows how to screen share and all that. Yeah, he. he okay. Does. We tried yesterday, and his uh, presentation is good. Okay, I've I'll got a couple things that, to. Yeah. I got a couple things to do, Raja. Last yeah, minute promotion, it. so I'll right. be back, Carry dog. You. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Carry on. Okay. I'll just screen share and show some videos in the meanwhile.
Roger. Yeah. Can yeah, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, and then I want to try to uh, show share you the slides, the slides again. Please, sure. Definitely. Yeah, there you go. So I can? Perfect, perfect. Oh, OK. Right. You can see. Looks great. Looks good, good, yeah. 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 It's good. Looks good, good. yeah. Yeah. And uh, the video is what we <laughs> are afraid, <laughs> but it worked well yesterday. It should work well too. Yeah, it's working well. Yeah. No Perfect. It's working well. And this is also great, working well. Yeah, it's working. working great so a little it, bit so. yeah it got stuck uh, yesterday also you just can play it again yeah. and then restart you can just forward that part a bit no it's not working yeah now it's working mm -hmm. yeah yeah perfect Okay. Yeah, it's working well. Looks good. This is the final video. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Can you stop your stress? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. I'll just go through the yeah, dog. What I'm doing now is putting it on the all the all the major neurosurgery groups. Okay. Uh, po uh, posting the Facebook Live so that so that the, these groups get a live feed. They get a you know, they, they see the live picture. You, you know what I'm talking about. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I try to wait for neurosurgical and cocktail until the last minute. So people just aren't watching us talk now, mm -hmm. <laughs> like now. Yeah. Uh, but wait till we start time and then send it right out. I'll just play that introduction video. Right. There we go. Is this a promo video, dog? Yeah. Look, look at this. That's great. Yeah. You, you know, you know, uh, Roger. I think we should play it at the end. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, we'll do okay. that. Okay. You know, we at the end. You'll say, you know, 
when we're finishing up, maybe I'll jump on and say, hey, we have a conference. Yuha is speaking Friday. And then I'll show Ipe's, Ipe's banner, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, then, yeah. and then we could show that video that, that, you, that you made. Yeah, sure, sure. We can do that. And yeah, we'll do that. Getting like a TV production, dog. <laughs> yeah. It's looking good. It's looking very well, good. Well, yeah, we'll learn these all these little things. Uh, but w the things that you're doing there, Raja, is put, putting us a, a little ahead of other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. There should be something added to all every time. Yeah, sure. So that's all about uh, online education. Is you keep making noises online so that people hear you and come to you. Uh, Dr. Yama, Yamamoto, you, have you done webcasts before? Oh, uh, no, this is, uh, uh, no, I, I had many times of uh, uh, web seminars, but uh, this, is, this is the first time on Neurosurgical, Neurosurgical oh, TV. Oh, the first time you've done a Zoom? Oh, are no. <laughs> oh, you've done a lot of Zoom, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody learns Zoom now. In Japan, yeah. Japan too, right? Yeah, same thing. Yeah, because mm. I, I noticed a lot more Japanese are online now uh, on Zoom, mm. yeah. which is great. Now, uh, are, are, are schools still in session in Japan or is there Corona? Uh, quarantine in Japan. Mm -hmm. Is there a quarantine in Japan? No, I think schools have re reopened. Yeah. Schools have reopened. I'm sorry? Schools have reopened School. in Japan. Oh, okay. Yeah. My son's going to college now. Uh, his school's open. He's in Japan? He's in Tokyo, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I thought, yeah, he's, that's right. Yeah. You mentioned New York is... Uh, these that came back from New York, that's right. Uh, Dr. Yamamoto, Simon was in Japan for a long time. 27 years. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. He, he can speak yeah. Japanese. Go ahead, Simon. Yeah. Speak <laughs> no, no. I went to the University of Tsukuba. And, oh. uh, oh. and then I, um, I lived in Tokyo for more than 20 years. And... Uh, mm -hmm. Then I came, I started medical school over there and then I uh, came uh, to finish in Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but John and I have been doing this for more than five years. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. That's great. Before, the, before the Corona. Yeah. But the Corona yeah. made it popular. Yes. Made, yes. made video yeah. broadcasting popular. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we, we start in two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Wait, we'll just wait for our chair to come. I'll send him a message again. You can do it different ways, dog. The way that we do it is I'll just count down to, to Raja and then he'll just take it so that I, I'm not even on the screen, which is good because you. I think you need to concentrate. The message is the ACNS. It's not neurosurgical TV. So, so if, if I turn right over to him, it puts the focus on ACNS. That's yeah. what we decided at the board meeting, the last board meeting anyways. I was the only one there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we have one minute. Okay, a couple. Richard Ricardo's here from Italy. Well, dog, uh, people are shy sometimes, but Raj is pretty good at getting people. You, you got to kind of be a little aggressive sometimes. You got to prod people. Come on, you. Right. What do you want? Okay. We're ready to start. Okay, you ready, Roger? Ready? No, 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 no. Wait, we'll just wait a few minutes more. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Two or three minutes and we'll I send him a mail again. 
Oh, Dr. Shah, how are you doing, Dr. Shah? How are you? I'm fine. Yeah, hi, Dr. Abhita, how are you? Speak, you're speaking all over the place. <laughs> He's a famous person. How are you, Raja? I'm fine, thank you. How is Mumbai heating up with Corona? It's a little better. It's oh, stable, it's not increasing. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. It was very worrisome, Mumbai news. My in-laws are all there, so I was very worried. Yeah. Dr. Raja, thank you very much. Hello, hello me Maria, as Professor chair. Maria. What oh, a pleasure you to have you, Professor. <laughs> Please, welcome, welcome to this platform. Professor Yamamoto, this is Professor Maria. <laughs> you know him? Nice to meet yeah. you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I met you. Okay. At, uh, just Okay, we're going to start. Okay, 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, hello and welcome to the third master series of uh, webinars of the month of July. Today we have a special topic for discussion that is basics of epilepsy surgery. Uh, the scenario in India by conservative estimates there are around 10 million people with epilepsy and also potential 1 million people who are likely candidates for epilepsy. As you know, this is subspecialized neurosurgery requiring multi-department support of various departments including neurology, neurophysiology, neurosurgery. To take us through the technical nuances of this Subspecialized field of neurosurgery today. Today we have with us Professor Takamichi Yamamoto, who is from the Sirai General Hospital, Hamamatsu. On behalf of the Educational Committee and the President of Suyoko Kato, I welcome you to this online platform. Today we were supposed to be chair, this session was supposed to be chaired by Professor Sarat Chandra, who is the in charge of difficult to treat epilepsy center from Holy Institute of Medical Science. Uh, I believe he's, uh, he's not joined yet. Anyway, as he uh, comes along, we may please include him also uh, to chair this session. Professor Yamamoto, you may, pl pl you may please start your webinar. Okay, thank you, Roger. Uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about uh, basic in, basics in epilepsy surgery. Uh, So the headline is yep. like this, as, as the followings. Uh, can you hear me? We can hear you, we can Yes, hear yes, we can. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, indications for epilepsy surgery and uh, uh, anatomy and a surgery of a temple lobe and a placement of uh, intracranial electrodes in a corpse callosotomy. And the last one is the vagus nerve stimulation. And uh, what is, uh, uh, people, people always uh, ask me at uh, what is the uh, indication for epilepsy surgery? And uh, that is the definition of uh, medical refractory epilepsy. And uh, previously we said that the appropriate two drugs for two years, uh, but uh, we don't know appropriate, right? So uh, think about uh, patients with a temporal of epilepsy and uh, uh, the refractory uh, localized uh, epilepsy with the impaired awareness seizures. And if you choose the uh, beta or clonazepam for these patients, that is not good. So choose the uh, carbamazepine as an old fashioned uh, drug and also the newer drug as a dramatrigine, levetiracetam, lacosamide, or perampano. And th these drugs should be prescribed for these patients. Um, and now uh, it is shorter and shorter uh, the fall uh, of the period of observation. So now is uh, the failure of to achieve uh, seizure freedom with the two appropriately used anti epileptic drugs. Uh, this is the same two drugs, but uh, the ER is one year and uh, or three times the longest the prior seizure free interval. Uh, that means if the patient uh, has been seizure-free for three months, then the uh, patient cannot get uh, uh, seizure freedom for uh, nine months. 
Danda Pisha goes to uh, for father evaluation uh, uh, and for epilepsy surgery. And this is also the, uh, the, the important thing uh, in changes in uh, ILA terminology. ILA is an international league against epilepsy. It's the largest uh, uh, Congress worldwide. And, and they uh, uh, sometimes determine the, the new uh, terminology, like, uh, like this uh, semiology. So in 1981, uh, they determined the word as uh, a simple partial seizure as a SPS and a complex partial seizure as a CPS. So we are very accustomed to use these words, but uh, but now it is a change to uh, like this. The SPS changed to uh, focal onset uh, aware seizures FAS fast, and the CPS changed to focal onset impaired awareness seizures FIAS the FIAS and then secondary generalization uh, changed to focal to bilateral tonic-clonic seizures, FBTCS. And then uh, particularly young uh, neurosurgeons uh, are, uh, should know this new terminology and they use these words. Uh, when, when, uh, when you present to the, uh, uh, to the uh, Congress, uh, this is very important. And uh, this is uh, seizure freedom by the number of anti epileptic drugs. Uh, uh, the horizontal or axis is the number of uh, anti epileptic drugs, and the vertical, vertical line is, uh, is a, per, a possibility of a percentage uh, to, be, uh, to be seizure free. And then if you uh, prescribe the, the first one, uh, first anti epileptic drug, then the patient uh, may become uh, seizure-free up to uh, 50%. But uh, the second one, so maybe 20%. And then the third one is uh, just uh, less, than, less than 10%. Then uh, uh, one or two drugs are good for uh, seizure freedom, but uh, uh, more, more drugs uh, do not necessarily mean uh, good outcome. <clears throat> and this is a list of uh, pre-surgical evaluations. Uh, I think it's many, many countries, uh, <clears throat> epileptologists uh, from neurology uh, will do these uh, pre-surgical evaluations. But uh, in my country, uh, I, I'm a neurosurgeon, but uh, I should do both. Epileptologist, <laughs> as work as a epileptologist and the neurosurgeons, uh, and then uh, I always do all all the all these things. And the important thing is uh, the this one long term video EEG monitoring. Uh, we say the LTM or VEEG. Uh, this should be done for a week to see uh, habitual seizures. Uh, and then find the uh, seizure onset onset zone on the and the uh, uh, habitual seizure semiology, and then we can find uh, we can determine that the candidate uh, should go go to the surgery or not. <clears throat> and this is the phases in epilepsy surgery. Phase one, uh, phase one is uh, uh, less invasive. Uh, evaluations, including uh, this long-term video EG monitoring. And then the patients uh, are considered to be a candidate for uh, surgery uh, goes to the phase two, uh, intracranial electrodes uh, and uh, invasive monitoring. And then uh, find the uh, focus, then patients goes to the uh, phase three, the final, final uh, phase, the fo focus resection. But the patients uh, uh, had uh, uh, an obvious, obvious uh, lesion on MRI, and also the EEG findings are the same uh, of the imaging. Uh, then the patients can skip the uh, phase two and then goes to straight to uh, phase three for resection. Uh, the next one is uh, anat anatomy of a temporal law. <clears throat> So this is a different approach to the hippocampus. So many people know that uh, 
uh, transylvian approach and the trans approach and trans approach and the subtemporal approach. But uh, I think it's a t these two, uh, uh, trans T2 uh, approach is, uh, is uh, most popular uh, around the world. And I will show you uh, my uh, surgical video about anterior medical te temporal lobectomy. Uh, this is the uh, our typical approach. And this is a coronal section of a cadaver, real cadaver. You know, we can see this uh, uh, real structure and um, making a, a surgical surgical image uh, for uh, before before the uh, real surgical procedure. And this is a hippocampus. Uh, so we should know the the uh, real anatomy: the hippocamp hippocampal head, body, and tail and the parahippocampal gyrus, and also the para, uh, collateral eminence. And then we can resect to these, uh, these regions, these regions uh, at the surgery. <clears throat> and this is a view from uh, inferior or medial uh, side of uh, te uh, right temporal lobe. And also this is very important here. Uh, number 12 is uh, called uh, entorhinal area and uh, sometimes uh, strong epileptogenicity, then uh, we should remove this uh, part uh, with the hippocampus uh, to prevent the seizure recurrence. And this is also the very important uh, uh, anatomy. And then uh, when we resect the amygdala and the hippocampus and uh, the inside so we can see many uh, arteries and the veins here and uh, also uh, midbrain then uh, we ship uh, these are structures of subapiali subapiali resection is very good very good and uh, safe uh, so keep subapiali resection and uh, to prevent uh, complications and also this is this slide shows that uh, uh, artery and the veins uh, uh, around the uh, uh, hippocampus. And then we should uh, coagulate and cut, the, cut these vessels along the hippocampus right here. So see this, this is a, a cadaver, but uh, uh, these uh, winding, winding arteries is very, uh, very uh, risky. Uh, so usually uh, we call it we coagulate and uh, cut in the arteries here along the uh, hippocampus here, right? Then I will show you my surgical uh, video. So this is an anteromedial temporal lobectomy. Uh, this is a, a view from a textbook of surgery for epilepsy. Uh, written by S Susan and the Dennis Spencer. Uh, he is a pioneer of uh, uh, this procedure. And then uh, we, uh, we we can resect we, we resect these uh, middle temporal gyrus and the lower temporal gyrus, and then go in inside, go inside, medial structures. And a typical MRI, preoperative pre Im imaging. Uh, this is a flare image, and then we can see uh, the right hippocampal uh, atrophy and also a high intensity of a right hippocampus. And then the patient underwent uh, long term video EG monitoring and then uh, demonstrated that the interictal EG bilateral. But predominant on the right side here, right here, right? These are in, uh, the spikes in the discharge are, are independent, but uh, uh, more and more spikes from the right side. And this is in ictal EEG, capture the three uh, habitual seizures and show this uh, rhythmic theta activity here, right here. T2 from a T2, F8, T4, and T6. These are uh, right frontal temporal region. Then uh, from this uh, MRI imaging and also this uh, EEG findings, then we, we determined that the, this patient 
uh, is really uh, was really a candidate for a surgical procedure and uh, skip step two, uh, phase two uh, with uh, intracranial electrodes and went to the phase three directly and uh, uh, we performed the typical of resection. I uh, see this, this is the positioning of a uh, temporal uh, uh, procedure and uh, 10 to 15 degree head up and uh, uh, the head uh, should turn to uh, the opposite side. Uh, and I don't like uh, too much vertex down and uh, almost neutral. And the uh, skin incision is like this. Uh, small, uh, smaller incision is good for uh, only, if it is only a temple lobe surgery. And uh, we put the uh, uh, sponge uh, to cover the uh, hair and uh, with, with the uh, staples. And it's just the first part, uh, first part to, uh, of a temple lobe me. Uh, this is a middle temple uh, gyrus, uh, 35 millimeter from the tip of the temple lobe, and it go into the brain, uh, almost uh, almost a vertigo, uh, and it uh, go into uh, the temple temporal hole. And also remove the uh, rest of the uh, middle te middle middle temple gyrus. And see this, we can find the uh, inferior horn here. We can see the, uh, yeah, this is a uh, hippocampus. So almost a vertical uh, approach uh, from the middle uh, temporal gyrus. So maybe, uh, we, we sometimes uh, navigation system, but uh, uh, not the uh, necessary uh, uh, use for, uh, for this procedure. And the second <clears throat> second stage, the resection around the hippocampus. This is this is the hippocampus here. And also, I put a small electrode to make sure that uh, the uh, hippocampus, uh, uh, the spikes from the hippocampus. And also, resection resection uh, of the uh, base of a temporal lobe, and also tip of the temporal lobe here and goes back to uh, the hippocampus and a resection should be subpiry. And it's just am amygdala here, and the coagulate and the aspiration. So most of uh, half or uh, two thirds of a, a lower amygdala should be resected. And then the amygdala and the hippocampus are, are, are disconnected. So this is a hippocampectomy. Uh, after the amygdala resection, we go uh, to uh, posterior, and this is a fimbria, and the fimbria is uh, coagulated and, uh, and aspirated. And then we can see the arteries. Uh, and this is a uh, coronal paroxysm here. And then I cut to the uh, hippocampus here. And then uh, our coagulate and the cut these vessels along the hippocampus, close to the hippocampus here. See this, this is artery. Then the hippocampus is uh, almost free from the from the uh, the surrounding uh, structures. Then removed and to, to twenty five millimeter from the tip. So this is very important. Uh, the small vessels such as hippocampal artery from the posterior cerebral and the anterior choroidal artery should be cauterized and uh, then sharply divided only after they are well uh, within the fissure. 
uh, hip, hippocampal feature, right? And do not cauterize the corridor plexus because uh, may lead to thrombosis of the anterior corridor artery. So we do not uh, uh, retract and uh, uh, cauterize the corridor plexus in, in uh, temporal lobe surgery. So additional section resection. So clean up, clean up these structures, and uh, put a uh, surgery saw. And uh, this is important. And uh, retract to the brain, and then we can find the uh, uh, residual hippocampus. And uh, we resected the five millimeter to ten millimeter uh, of, of the hippocampus. Then go go uh, deeper, and this is a part of hippocampal gyrus. So this is uh, uh, almost done. Uh, And uh, this is also important. Uh, uh, residual hippocampus tail never goes to superior uh, because the tail is bordered superior by the columnar of the thalamus, the internal capsule under the tail of a cortical nucleus. So this is very critical, uh, and it goes uh, ne never go never go up uh, when uh, when the, uh, when we resect the, the uh, residual hippocampus. So we can see uh, this is uh, our middle and the inferior temporal gyrus are resected and also uh, amygdala, lower half amygdala resected. And the uh, hippocampus and the parahippocampal gyrus are also resected here. And the patient is a seizure, seizure free and uh, uh, her medication is now, uh, uh, I think it's of uh, 200, 200 15 milligram, the lowest, uh, uh, smallest uh, tablet of uh, uh, Rebuchocetum. Uh, this is uh, uh, temporal, temporal lobe surgery, uh, the best evidence, uh, best level of evidence, class one, uh, written by Dr. Wee, a famous guy from uh, University of Calgary, and then uh, published at uh, the New England Journal of Medicine. This is a very uh, famous uh, journal. Then, uh, so please, uh, please read the uh, please uh, read this article, uh, particularly for uh, young neurosurgeons. <clears throat> and then uh, next one is the int intracranial electrodes. But uh, this is kind of old fashioned. So the preparation, <clears throat> and I uh, uh, always uh, uh, put the uh, this toil with the staple to cover the hair. And the marking once again. <clears throat> and draping. Uh, wait, wait a second. <clears throat> it should, it should play. You can just forward a bit more, then it should play. It played just now. Yeah. It should play. Two. 
too heavy <laughs> yeah you can just forward a little bit and then it should take oh yes good yeah fine. so uh, uh i always uh obtain this uh periosteum for uh zero uh uh closure for zero closure that's a uh used as a graft and this is a uh, uh serious this is a subgeo uh, subgeo strip for uh temporal lobe and I, I, I'm putting uh, electrodes under the temporal lobe, uh, close to the hippocampus. And I put a one stitch uh, to prevent uh, moving. And this is a grid, grid data code uh, for uh, uh, cortical, cortical mapping and uh, 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 see the, uh, the cortical, cortical electric activity. And a closing. Oh, same thing, this is heavy. I used the grafter right here. And I always uh, uh, put these uh, electrodes under the, under the skull here, right here. And this is also, uh, I put the uh, uh, JP drain because uh, this is uh, so bloody. And the stitches for each electrodes, and I, uh, I didn't uh, have any uh, uh, CSF leakage with this method, no infection. Okay. Uh, but uh, intracranial electrodes is uh, very risky. So we see this uh, hemorrhage, hemorrhage, and uh, is, we see also the same thing, and also kind of a contusion. And also uh, uh, the grid uh, compressed. Uh, 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 oh, <laughs> large, large brain, and then uh, to make uh, venous congestion. So now uh, a depth electrode with uh, SEG with a depth electrode is now uh, gaining a popularity. And I see this, uh, the subdural electrodes here and the abnormal findings is very high, 47.9%. And the depth electrodes are 25%. And this is a significant difference. So now the SCG is gaining popularity uh, with a robotic assistance. And then the SCG is like this. Uh, this is a previous three, many institute uh, use the frame-based, frame-based implantation. But now uh, uh, robot, uh, the neurosurgical robot reduces operating time. Um, this is a ROSA from uh, Zima, Zima Biomed. And the other one is uh, Neuromate from Rainy Show. Uh, there are two neurosurgical robots, but uh, very expensive. Uh, not easy to purchase it. So what is good for uh, SEG and what is good for subdural uh, electrodes? And then uh, SEG is like this, uh, bitemporal, bitemporal won't set. Uh, and the insular, insular is very good for SCG and also post, post the craniotomy. <clears throat> so, so many, many people with uh, prior, prior surgery, uh, severe, there's a severe adhesion between the uh, dura, dura and the brain. So the uh, SCG is good for uh, these patients. And uh, 
SMA uh, supplement, supplementary motor area and also uh, uh, the uh, lesion uh, across the midline is very good for SEG. Maybe, maybe these uh, seizure types are uh, going to go into SEG, I think. And uh, the other one, uh, the motor cortex or language area, the surface uh, structures are good for its uh, subdural electrode. So uh, mm, I think it's that a uh, great change uh, will be in, 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 in the next 10 years. <clears throat> and uh, car carosotomy. Uh, <clears throat> so this is uh, uh, the, the concept and history. Uh, carosotomy is a diminution of interhemispheric uh, propagation of epileptic activity and uh, prevent and reduce bilateral synchrony of cortical epileptic form activity and uh, prevent uh, uh, secondary uh, generalization. So this is uh, uh, developed in uh, this was developed in 1940, the same year. Erickson and uh, uh, the other group, Farmagine, uh, and uh, they observed that the patients with uh, our tumors of a corpus callosum would have a decrease in seizure frequency as the corpus uh, uh, corpus callosum was destroyed by the tumor. And the uh, seizures seen early in these patients were generalized, and uh, as the tumor grew. The seizures were often unilateral and without uh, uh, loss of consciousness. This is very important, uh, interesting. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, uh, corpus callosum. This is uh, uh, rostrum, genu, uh, body, and the isthmus and uh, sprenium. So the surrounding, uh, surrounded by the important uh, artery and the veins here, and uh, very deep. Uh, this is uh, my surgical, surgical video of a Cox carosotomy, uh, one stage total carosotomy sectioning uh, for patients with uh, lennox gastro syndrome. Uh, the patient uh, often fall, falls and uh, uh, very dangerous uh, for uh, because uh, uh, he had many head injuries. Uh, see, this this is uh, uh, callosum here, uh, white one, callosum, and uh, uh, we should find uh, the midline septum. So this this is a septum, and uh, we can we can go anteriorly uh, along the septum, and this is uh, uh, almost the rostrum and uh, genu. Yes, this is the rostrum, and we can see uh, anterior 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 cerebral artery under under this. See this is splitting the corpus callosum here. And also uh, this is a digital part of the genome. And we can uh, cut this. So the anterior part is uh, completely rejected, uh, and then uh, uh, we go back to the posterior part of the uh, carosum. So this is a posterior part of the carosum. This is like uh, like a tube, like a tube. Then uh, uh, removing the removing the, uh, the the tube, like like uh, removing the tube. So go go into uh, splay splaining. This is closing. Now the, the end of the end of the uh, callosum here. So this is sometimes this is bloody, and then uh, take care when when you when you the final final section. 
and the part of uh, probably the part of the vein of gallium. <clears throat> And this is uh, uh, the surgery uh, carotidectomy is completed. Uh, so this is uh, uh, yeah, we should uh, take a look at uh, a couple of uh, results from uh, a major uh, uh, university and institute. Uh, this is uh, from Yale. Uh, the seizure outcome, uh, seizure outcome class was one, two, three. But the one, two is good. Uh, the three is uh, bad. There's no change. And then see this partial section. Partial section means that uh, uh, a half of uh, anterior part or anterior two thirds of a callosum uh, was section. Then uh, see this uh, 65% uh, had no change. And then they uh, had additional uh, sectioning uh, for complete complete sectioning, and also the total sectioning here, right here, and then uh, see this that the better better outcome uh, in ter in terms of seizure control. <clears throat> and uh, uh, this is uh, from Montreal, and the seizure type is here, tonic-clonic seizure, and the drop attacks, and the atypical absence seizures. Then uh, tonic-clonic seizures, the drop attacks are, as a good outcome. Yeah, right, 77, more than 77%. Uh, but uh, atypical absence is not good, 56. Uh, and uh, uh, take care. Uh, when, when, you, when you use the uh, drop attacks as a semiology, this is not a tip. Uh, uh, this is not a, a type of semiology. This is a, just a phenomenon. So we can we cannot uh, use the drop attacks uh, in, in uh, when we prescribe uh, when we describe the uh, seizure semi semiology. Drop attacks is a, just a phenomenon not the seizure type. So this is, this is complicated, but uh, uh, just uh, 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 when you, when you uh, presented a, uh, some kind of uh, uh, epilepsy presentation, uh, so t just, just take care. Uh, epileptologist will uh, Tell you something <laughs> when, when you use it to apart text of the semiology. <clears throat> well, the last one, uh, Vegas nerve stimulation. So the, yeah, this is anatomy. This is anatomy of the Vegas nerve. And uh, we uh, we normally we normally put the device on the left side. Uh, because uh, uh, the right side, see here, right? Right side uh, innovate. Right side of the vagus of innervate the zero atrium of the or atrium. Then, uh, so uh, may have stimulation of the right right vagus of may have uh, bradycardia, but it's not really. <laughs> That's complicated. Normally, uh, we put the left side, and then eighty percent of the vagus nerve uh, conveys afferent sensory information. To the brain, so it, it's it's uh, reasonable to uh, select the left side uh, of the vagus so. nerve. And the, the mechanism, uh, we always discuss this <coughs> uh, issue, but uh, there's no uh, conclusion. I'm still unclear. <coughs> But this is uh, uh, one, of, one of the our hypotheses. So the vagus nerve uh, goes to the nucleus tractus solitarius, and then uh, these uh, uh, other uh, nucleus, and then this this lo local cells, local cells, and those are lot of nucleus is very important to uh, keep the vagus nerve stimulation. Uh, one researcher uh, destroyed uh, uh, the local cells. Uh, in the in the uh, animal, 
and but but uh, the Venus the uh, Venus uh, did not work anymore after the destruction of local cirrhosis. The local cirrhosis is a very important part of the Venus system. <clears throat> uh, but uh, uh, still, uh, still uh, there's no uh, definite and then uh, mechanism action, unclear, still unclear. Selene, so what is the indications for VNS? This is a different from uh, cranial, su cranial surgery and uh, medical refractory epilepsy. But if a patient could, could have benefits uh, like seizure freedom uh, from uh, intracranial epilepsy surgery, then go, go, to, go to the crani craniotomy first, uh, no question. And for patients with bilateral, bilateral independent foci, in a diffuse, diffuse regions or unresectable foci, uh, when it should be considered first. Uh, but uh, Venus is very uh, expensive. Uh, in, in, in my country, uh, the government pays for uh, uh, the, 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 the device uh, and then we can Patients can get uh, reimbursement uh, of, of this uh, procedure, but uh, uh, I think it, uh, that some country uh, uh, didn't, uh, did, patients doesn't get the uh, reimbursement. And this is, uh, this is a problem. And this uh, uh, proce procedure and uh, treatment is very, uh, very good for patients uh, uh, who are not a good candidate for uh, in intracranial epilepsy surgery. Uh, <clears throat> see this, this is a <clears throat> so the right hemisphere has gone. So this, this uh, young lady, young lady uh, got a uh, uh, severe head injury when she was one or two years old uh, and uh, uh, severe. Uh, made a severe uh, cerebral contusion. Uh, and then she soon had the uh, uh, in intractable stages, epilepsy, and then uh, came, uh, referred to me, but uh, uh, there's no seizure uh, EEG activity on the right side. And there, there was uh, many, uh, there, there are many uh, uh, spike activity on the left side. Multiple, uh, multiple foci. Then uh, I, I don't think she's a candidate for in intracranial epilepsy surgery. Uh, then I put the uh, BNS, BNS uh, uh, system, and it, it worked. Then uh, she's very good now, and uh, uh, more than uh, fifty to seventy percent of uh, total seizure uh, events uh, were reduced. Uh, then uh, she, unfortunately, she didn't have language, but uh, uh, she now can understand some uh, words. No response, but uh, she she can she can understand. <clears throat> and then next one is an eight year old boy uh, who uh, is also uh, a severe. Uh, uh, intractor epilepsy. And uh, at the age of three, she, uh, he walked around uh, with a long chopstick set, uh, the, for barbecue. And uh, she, uh, he fell down to the ground and the chopsticks uh, penetrated his left orbit and then uh, go through, uh, went through the right frontal lobe. Uh, and then the uh, CAT scan demonstrated the large intracerebral hem hemorrhage on the right side of the brain and uh, uh, evacuation was done at uh, the local hospital, but uh, the uh, epilepsy uh, developed and uh, became very severe. Uh, the semiology is like this: uh, uh, that was a spas spasms uh, followed by a tonic phase, and tonic seizures for more than ten seconds. Then uh, patient uh, patients uh, fail uh, many times and very dangerous, and then she lost. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Many deaths. Then uh, <clears throat> uh, I put the. Uh, I think a, I think that the colostomy is the first uh, option, and then take uh, took the MRI. But uh, you see, uh, no 
corpse skull also. So it, I think this is a, a, a atrophy uh, from the uh, contusion of the frontal lobe. Then uh, uh, he is not uh, he is not a candidate for uh, carotidomy. Then uh, I put the BNS system, and then uh, I'll show you. This is a very good uh, example of uh, uh, improvement in EEG findings. And before this is before BNS uh, therapy, and you see uh, the synchronous bilateral spike and the wave, and then uh, this is uh, uh, seems to be very bad uh, situation uh, of these patients. And after venous treat, uh, venous implantation, and six months later, uh, see this uh, the, the synchronization is split. It. The v v VNS uh, uh, is, cons uh, is uh, uh, probably uh, split to the synchro synchronized activity of the brain. Then uh, we will see the background activity right here, uh, but the spikes is still on the right side, but the uh, basic ground activity is, uh, came back. Then uh, he is very nice, very good condition, and uh, he, speaks, he speaks well. And uh, uh, now, uh, there's probably uh, almost 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 a seizure free. Uh, so this is uh, the final video uh, of uh, venous implantation, <clears throat> and I put a uh, uh, twelve uh, roll of a twelve uh, under the under the spine uh, to extension uh, for extension of the neck. And this is uh, uh, the the midline, and uh, the, this is the uh, anterior edge of a uh, sternocleidal mastoid ma muscle, and uh, this is a skin incision, and also this is the incision for generator <coughs> placement. Uh, we can uh, perform this procedure with the surgical loop, but uh, I, I think a uh, microscope is better to control uh, uh, small vessels of the breathing. See this three a finger bread uh, incision and the cut the platysma. And uh, we should find the anterior edge of a sternocleidal muscle, the muscle. <clears throat> See this, this is, uh, this is edge. <clears throat> the assistant, uh, assistant surgeon uh, retract to the other side and then I retract to my side with the left hand and uh, uh, used the uh, uh, chapel. Uh, uh, for blunt uh, dissection. And it's just a muscle, uh, still not got a muscle. Then there's some, uh, probably we can see the biggest level right here. And a blunt, uh, blunt dissection is very good. Uh, to prevent the bleeding, um, see this. This is the bigger. Big, uh, this is the biggest nerve here. And I always uh, 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 put some uh, uh, counted sheath, sheath uh, to to the uh, biggest nerve uh, because uh, there's uh, many uh, uh, vessels like. Uh, uh, nervosum uh, uh, inside of the cheese. Then uh, see, see this. <clears throat> so the blunt dissection uh, doesn't give it, give us uh, uh, bleeding. And I put the uh, one surgical tape here, and then uh, put the electrode under the, under the vagus under the vagus nerve here.
Okay, uh, yeah, and there's a, a placement of electrodes is down. And uh, uh, put the tethering uh, along the uh, uh, fascia of the muscles. And also uh, the, uh, this is, uh, uh, this is a uh, very skinny boy. Then uh, I put the generator between the uh, subpectoral approach, uh, major pectoral muscle and the uh, uh, minor uh, pectoral muscles. And the subcarticular stitches and then uh, put the dharma bone and then also uh, the other uh, tapes on, the, on that. So this is uh, outcome of uh, uh, first three years of uh, post uh, prospective Japanese uh, registry. Uh, I think uh, th almost 300 uh, patients uh, uh, joined the research and uh, uh, Professor Kawai uh, wrote this, uh, wrote this article. And see this, this is a, uh, 50, the line is a 50% uh, Responder, more than 50% res uh, responder, uh, or 60% of patients got uh, more than 15% seizure reduction. Then this is uh, a little bit uh, better uh, results compared to the previous uh, articles world worldwide, uh, because uh, uh, more more stimulation and. More stimulation gives us more seizure redu reduction, and uh, uh, probably the uh, the patients uh, are in, a, in 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 our country are uh, access is uh, is is good uh, for patients. Then uh, uh, sometimes every month, every month patients goes to the clinic and then uh, and then uh, increase in the uh, parameters. Uh, to, re to reduce the seizure frequency. <clears throat> so the take take home, uh, basic concepts and techniques in FMC surgery were presented uh, and the temporal lobe surgery is the first hurdle for young FMC surgeons. Uh, and the several jury electrodes will be replaced gradually uh, by SAG uh, in, in, in Japan, it, it is not, uh, not uh, before the beginning, <laughs> uh, with the depth selector. Uh, VNS is the only implantable device uh, worldwide at the present. But uh, uh, DVS, DVS is, uh, uh, is originally Parkinson's disease, but uh, uh, now uh, in the United States, uh, DVS is approved for uh, epilepsy. And also RNA system, responsive neurostimulation is a new device, is, is still in the United States, uh, and then, but uh, will be introduced in the near future, I think. That's it. Thank you very much for, uh, oh yeah, you yes, same. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Professor Yamamoto. That was an excellent presentation. You took us through the technical nuances of this delicate surgeries. Thank you very much for presenting such an exciting topic. Now, may I please declare the platform open for discussions? Uh, uh, Professor, uh, oh, is uh, yeah, we will just uh, open the discussion now. What is Professor the role? Mathuria. Professor Mathuria is here. Professor Mathuria, would you like to say something? Professor Mathuria? Mathuria? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm here only. And, yeah, uh, uh, see, I heard so many epilepsy talks and it had been quite basic and the techniques and the pre-op evaluation, everything had been so nice. And he has covered the vagal nerve stimulation also very nicely, plus the uh -huh. technique. And mm -hmm. uh, so it was an excellent presentation and educative, not only to the beginners, but to the people like me as well. So it's nice. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you very you. much. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. There is one question to you. Naida Sawan. Sawan. Uh, 
Yeah, there is a question which has popped. What will be the effect of contralateral side vagus nerve stimulation electrode placement? I think Dr. Prakash has asked that. I think he might have meant uh, on the right side. If you put a VNS uh, on the come right on. side. He's asking, Dr. Prakash is asking what would happen if you put a right side at vagus nerve stimulation? On the on a, a right so, side? Yeah. You you don't yeah. use because of the SA node. We don't we don't we don't you we normally we don't use uh, right side of the vagus nerve because uh, uh, you know uh, the possibility is uh, uh, bradycardia. But uh, uh, one article demonstrated that uh, uh, they implanted uh, uh, the right side of, right side of the vagus nerve because. Uh, previously, the patient got the infection on the left side. Oh, yeah. So what That's... happened? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened on the right side. So, uh, but, but just one case. One case. So right. no, no, nobody knows, knows for sure, but uh, uh, this is probably uh, we, can, we can put. Uh, normally, uh, uh, the stimulation, go, stimulation normally, goes up to, to the brain, not, not, not downward, upward. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. Oh, how works, uh, uh, how big as number works for epilepsy? Is it a question? Roger. Uh, uh, Moh Mohammed uh, Sam Samurana. Yes, sir. Ask, uh, ask me. Uh, how 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 big a stimulation works for epilepsy? Is a question. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah, that is uh, unclear. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, there's uh, many researchers uh, uh, did so, uh, many, many uh, uh, research and investigations, but uh, uh, some, some researchers uh, said that the, the uh, thalamus, uh, thalamus is, is the most important part to, uh, uh, sub to, suppress, to suppress the seizures uh, with the vagus nerve stimulation. But the someone is local cellulose <laughs> and uh, uh, Still, still, still unknown. But uh, the structures, uh, structures from the vagus nerve to through nu nu uh, uh, nuclear structures, solitarius and uh, uh, yeah, thalamus and then uh, cortex is uh, is obvious. Uh, but uh, uh, still uh, not not, uh, uh, not definitely. Uh, no, nobody, nobody uh, explain. Nobody can explain to us uh, difficult, uh, the definite uh, uh, mechanisms. There is another question from uh, Dr. Sneha Chitra, who has asked, "What were the complications, if any, in your series of vagus nerve stimulation? Did you oh, have uh, any? We, uh -huh, yeah, complications, and also the failure rate of this procedure." Pain rate. Yeah. Uh, okay. You mean uh, uh, like a, like a surgical su surgical side infection or something? Yeah, or, complications as well as where, where this method was unfruitful in the treatment of epilepsy that it could not. Uh, yeah. Was the desired people have, people with the vagus nerve stimulation had some uh, some coughing, coughing and uh, tingling and. Uh, uh, pain of the neck at the beginning of a stimulation, but it uh, it it is uh, it is just uh, at the beginning of a stimulation, and then the, these these complications will go. And uh, right. in terms of a surgical tec uh, technique, uh, I had uh, we performed more than uh, I think at the three hundred cases of a venous, but. Uh, uh, 10 to 20 cases had some uh, complications uh, with uh, including uh, surgical surgical side infection. Right. There is another question from Swatantra Mishra who have asked, do you have any exposure to laser interstitial thermal therapy? 
and what is the future hold for this therapy? Oh no, yeah, laser, no. La la LITT, right? LITT, la laser interstitial thermal therapy. It's not uh, available in my country. No uh, yeah. experience, but uh, I think it's a, it's a good for uh, temporal lobe epilepsy. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, uh, yeah. I talked to whether I talked to whether uh, uh, epileptologist from uh, uh, Emory Emory Clinic, and she said that uh, uh, they 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 performed LITT first for temporal lobe epilepsy. And then uh, maybe maybe five or six uh, cases uh, uh, good, had a good outcome, but uh, the rest of them, uh, three or four cases, uh, had still had the seizures. Then uh, goes to uh, resection. Right. They said, yeah. There is one more question from Rizu Dala Dahal. Doctor Rizu Dahal, are you here? You may ask your question. Directly. Ah, patient, LGS. Yeah, yeah. What Which one should we choose first? Oh, yeah. yeah. These patients, uh, if these patients had, have uh, uh, drop attacks, probably. So the counsel to me first. Right. Uh, yeah. But in my experience, uh, Drop attack uh, will be will be controlled with a calcotomy. But uh, uh, the, these patients have been, these patients still have some kind of uh, seizures, like a, like a brief tonic seizures or something, atypical abscess or something. Then uh, uh, when a patient uh, really needs some more uh, treatment, then uh, put the VNS. Right. There is another question. Which brain target is used for DVS for epilepsy? Anterior. Is... Yeah, please. Yeah, anti nucleus. And anti nucleus. Anti nucleus of a, a thalamus. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Dr. Satish, are you there? Satish Kannan, would you like to come in? Satish, are you there? I think there is a parallel session going on today. That's why most people are not there. Professor Maruyama, Takashi Maruyama, Professor, would you like to come in? Professor Maruyama, are you here? Yes, Professor Maruyama. Professor Maruyama was there. People are shy today. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, if there are no more questions in this, uh, I would like to ask Professor, well, what is the, uh, uh, you have left out uh, hemispherectomy in this uh, surgical armamentarium. What is the, in, what are the indications for hemispherectomy and what is your experience in this regard? In indications is a, uh, is a very limited uh, particularly for uh, small children, a baby, more, almost a baby, for uh, with uh, with uh, hemimegalencephaly and uh, uh, some uh, uh, large uh, le lesions, lesions obvious on the MRI in the, just uh, one side. That is uh, uh, indications for hemispherotomy. Right. So I think uh, we'll wind up this session uh, on behalf of the Education Committee of ACNS and the President, Professor Yoko Kato. I sincerely thank you for coming here and educating us for regarding the technical nuances of the epilepsy surgery. And we hope you continue your support in the future editions of ACNS webinars as well. Thank you very much, Sensei. Thank you. Bye. Bye. John, you want to show? Yes, could, could we play the video that you made of upcoming events, um, Raja? Yeah, sure. We'll just introduce our uh, speakers for the month of August. I hope you can see them. Yes, we can see them.
Yeah. Okay, Saturday. very good. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Next uh, Saturday, we have Professor Aip Shirian, who is going to present about cystinostomy in traumatic brain injuries. I welcome you all to that uh, webinar on the Saturday evening, 6 p.m. Indian time and 9.30 p.m. Japanese time. John, would okay. you like to put up the flyer? Hello, John. Okay, I think we're ready to wrap it up. Uh, yeah. And thank you, doctor. Yeah. So until next Saturday, we'll all say goodbye. Thank you, Professor goodbye. Bennett. Thank, thank, thank you, Doc. Thank you, John, for televising it. Thank you, Simon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.